hey guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here thank you so much for stopping by and if you're returning thank you you're a real one so we're going to be doing this makeup tutorial a lot of you guys have missed my makeup tutorial so i am bringing them back in 2021 so let me know you guys let me know what makeup related videos you guys want to see so i'm starting off by doing my brows and i'm using the beauty by ad brow pencil this was actually my first time of using it and i absolutely loved it the pencil is really thin and it allows you to be very precise it's very similar to the beauty line by didi but i'm just going to fill in my brows i don't feel it a lot because i already have hairs i have quite a lot of hair so i just use the brow pencil to define it even more and i'm using this brush set from a brand called vicabel and it's their 20 piece brush set i saw this from an ad and i saw a couple of influencers using it and i got it for myself and i absolutely love it i also got one other brush that wasn't in the set and to conceal my brows i'm using the mac match master stick concealer i'm just using this to conceal under my brows and for the top of my brows i'll use a different um concealer I've been gravitating towards more natural looking brows of late because I don't know, I just prefer that look. And because I have really full brows, I can't really achieve the very, very natural look I want, except I decide to like shave off all my brows, <laughs> which is not happening. So, yeah, let me know what more makeup related videos you guys want to see most of the brands i used in this video are nigerian brands so nigerian brands are actually killing it out there let me know if you guys want to see a makeup kit essential there are a lot of affordable nigerian brands these days Now I'm using this Teos Cosmetics Brow Gel and I'm just using it to like give my brows a more natural look. And then next I'm using this MS Metics or Miss Metics Moisture Potion. It's just a moisturizer. It's also a Nigerian brand. I think like almost all the brands I used in this video are Nigerian brands. I specifically chose Nigerian brands just to show you guys that you don't have to get international brands. Even though there are some vendors that sell international brands here in Nigeria. We'll get to that later on and then my favorite primer you guys is the zaron cosmetics mattifying primer as you can see i was already done with one container and i was this was a new one i was opening and i'm just going to apply this on my face it's very similar to the milk of magnesia it's just that this one is safe on the skin but the milk of magnesia is not safe on the skin and my hair that it blocks your pores and blah 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 i don't know all about that but i no longer use that i used to use it in the past which is like way back and i'm using my favorite foundation which is the nars long wear radiant foundation and i'm using this zaron brush my shade is new caledonia for this foundation you guys this is my favorite foundation in the whole world it is not cheap it is not so expensive if you're buying it outside nigeria i got mine outside nigeria but then is almost done and i'll have to restock and i'm seeing vendors selling it for 25k guys <laughs> anyway yeah this is my favorite foundation and a dupe for this is the nyx can't stop won't stop they are very very similar like every time i use the nyx can't stop won't stop i almost feel like i'm using this um nars um foundation yeah highly recommend i love it absolutely love it if i don't reach for this one i also always go for the fancy beauty one now i'm going to use three concealers this one is the zikio cosmetic concealer which is my best concealer and i'm using this to conceal my face and then i'll use the other two to highlight my face i always like to layer my highlighter because i don't know i just prefer the look it gives me and then i'm using the nuban beauty blender to blend this all out i really like this beauty blender the last one i had i used this since 2018 like i literally just got a new one recently so that's to tell you how good it is i'm using the nuban beauty in my skin concealer and then for the innermost part parts of my 
under eye i'm using the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade caramel and this is the one i'm actually using to highlight highlight my face And then to contour my face while I leave my highlighter to sit under my eyes for a while, I'm using the Black Opal Stick Foundation in the shade Black Walnut. I'm actually dark, oh, you guys. I expected this thing to be so dark on me because this was my first time of using it. Before, I was using Carob, but then Carob is not so dark. It doesn't give me that definition, so I got a darker shade. <laughs> and I expected this to be darker, but then it's okay. I don't really want like a very, very dark contour even though i like my contour defined <laughs> so i'm just blending this using a vika bell brush like basically 99 percent of the brushes i used in this video are all from vika bell love them highly recommend this one is real techniques too then i'm blending out my contour now that i've let my under eye highlight sit for a while i'm just going to go ahead to blend it i noticed that Letting it sit for a while gives you a more full coverage look. Now I'm just blending my highlight and contour together and then going ahead to blend the other parts that I highlighted. You want to blend you want to take your time blending i sped this part up because i took a long time blending so i didn't want you guys to be to get bored just watching me blend even though watching people blend is therapeutic to me <laughs> i can't lie so i'm just making sure i blend my contour and highlight together just so there aren't any clear demarcations I'm going to blend my concealer for creases before I go ahead to set my face. I'm going to set my face with this um, powder palette. This is my favorite powder palette. It is so pigmented. Like the colors actually show up. And once you have this powder palette, you actually don't need any other pa powder. But then I, al I always have like other powders just in case I'm traveling or something. I don't want to carry like a big ass palette around. But then they also come in small compact sizes. Now to bake my face, I'll be using the Beauty by AD Loose Setting Powder, my favorite setting powder in the world. <laughs> this is actually my third um, jar of this amber shade. Like ever since they launched it, I this is the setting powder I love. I also love the Huda Beauty and Laura Mercier one. But yeah, support Nigerian brands, guys. And this is way more affordable than those ones. It's just 8K so yeah i'm going to be using it to bake my face and it lasts a, a long time so so that 8k you're spending it's not like you're, you you're spending it every month no you can have this for the longest so i'm just going to use this to bake my face and i'm using the max studio fix powder in the shade nw45 to set the other parts of my face i'm using a big powder brush from vika bell too and for the beauty by 80 setting powder this is not the only color it comes in it comes in four different shades if you're lighter than me there's a color for you i also have that one loose scent for days when i want like a bright bright highlight and then there's tawny and i can't remember what the last one is called but yeah now i'm just blending it off of my face and i'm using this decal cosmetics powder to contour my face this is like a really dark shade you can also get this shade in their powder palette um it had quite for some fallout but that's okay and i'm using this shade this is my first time of using this powder actually i normally use the one in the beach i'm ageless but then i needed something to like have on the go and i've been wanting to try the mocha mami so hopefully i try that very soon and now i'm contouring my nose I don't like to use a very dark contour shade, but then I don't know what made me dip into <laughs> the contour that I use for my cheeks. But then don't worry, I'm going to blend this all out. You can even use your face powder to blend this away. Now I'm using the Beauty by AD Body Fix to set my face. You guys, so far, I think the only two things that I have, the only two brands that are not Nigerian brands have been MAC and NARS. 
all the others have been Nigerian brands. Now I'm using the Zikel Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Nude. This is a brighter shade. And I'm using this as a base for my highlights. And I'm using the Zikel Cosmetics and Lydia Stanley Eyeshadow Palette. I love... This is currently my favorite eyeshadow palette, hands down. I love this palette so much. Like, it literally has all the colors you need. All the times I traveled, this was the only palette I carried. And it served the job this was the palette i used for my sister's intro um traditional wedding this is the exact look i created a lot of you love this so that was why i decided to recreate this look and yeah i used an orange shade for my transition now i'm using this it's kind of like a burnt orange it's not burnt orange it's like a pink yeah i'm just using this as in my crease just to give my crease some depth and i'm building the color gradually i'm blending vika bell has some amazing brushes and i'm also going back to that orange shade just to blend the edges and i used a dark color from the palette it's like it was like a dark purple i think and i just used it to give my crease color some depth now i'm cutting my crease and I'm using, I think this shade is the shade Dima here because this is the shade I always reach out for. I'm using it for my lead color. You guys should see how beautiful this looks like. <laughs> it is so beautiful. And then I took the black from the palette. I didn't dip too much because this palette is really, really pigmented. I just took some of that and I'm using it to smoke out my outer v yeah <laughs> smoke on my outer v you guys have forgotten these terms it's been a while i made makeup tutorials and i'm using the best lashes in the world killer beauty lashes in the shade scorpio you guys should go and cup yourself some we'll be restocking really really soon we already have in stock but then once get everything set for our restock so get ready for that and now i'm using the juvia's place bella blush my favorite blush my favorite was Zara Mudfest, but then they just stopped producing that. Or rather, I just didn't use to get it again. Now I'm using this Fair Richie All Nighter Makeup Fixer Spray. I saw it in one of Laifa's videos. As you can see, this was my first time of using it. And I didn't expect it to be like this. <laughs> it tasted bad in my mouth. I didn't like it. And I didn't know it was like a spray spray like this. So that was why it was unexpected. It was recommended in one of Laifa's videos. And you guys, I love this spray. Like, it held my makeup in place. I think the last setting spray I used that felt like this was the Kudi Cosmetics setting spray. Now I'm going over that with Beauty by AD highlighter in Heroine. This was the first, my first time of using it and sorry for how it looks mine actually broke so i had to fix it with like um alcohol and all of that but then still you can see how banging it is i have another one i think that one is called vivid yeah but i hadn't received it by the time i made this video and i'm topping this up with um nuban beauty the glow highlighter that beauty by eddie um highlighter is the truth it is very creamy. I don't know if it's to call it creamy, but then it's really soft and it's just really nice. I highly recommend the highlighter. And for my lips, I'll be using the Teos Cosmetics lipstick in Gold Coast to line my lips. And then I'll be using the Zaron lipstick to, you know, as my main color. I don't know what shade that is. I can't remember, honestly. And I'm not at home to even say i'll check but then if i find it i'll probably put it in the description box so yeah that's basically it for this makeup tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed it because i enjoyed filming this video thank you guys so much for supporting and i'll see you guys in my next video if you guys have any makeup tutorials or any makeup related videos you guys want to see let me know and i'll be sure to deliver Hopefully I do a beginner's makeup um beginner's makeup video that's like everything you need in your makeup kit. You don't need everything to be honest. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Ra. 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 Ra.